All right, so we've been in this holy black compound for about three years. We're finally moving out into a bigger space, but we realized we never gave you guys a full tour of the whole setup, so we want to show you guys around. Come on in. All right, so as you enter the compound, first thing you're gonna see, this sign's really cool because it's the first thing we've ever made. We made this for a farmer's market. It was the first event we ever did. We didn't have any signage, we didn't have anything. We pretty much had an easy up tent, a table, some handmade products we made, and me and my brother handmade this sign. So we put this when you first walk in. This thing got a lot of like sentimental value. There's some things like tattoo bomb, mustache wax, like we don't even make those anymore. This is the first thing we used the lath for, and then after we made this sign, we fucking made everything out of lath. Half the compound's pretty much made out of this stuff. Yeah, this is a pretty cool sign, first thing we've ever made. First thing on the left you can have is our storage closet. So we keep a lot of our product, our vacuum, just some stuff that we don't want to keep out in the open. Uh, if you want to come in here. We don't do a lot of shipping out of the compound anymore. So we don't need to store all of our products here. This is where we used to, when we packed orders, I would pull product from here, bring it to the shipping station, and uh, be able to fulfill orders. But now that we don't fulfill orders anymore, it's more just storage. Uh, we have a couple local shops that we like to hand deliver our products to. So we keep some stuff here, some swag and stuff like that. Like we have keychains, brotherhood coins, some shop rags, samples. If we want to give away some samples or if we're doing a show, stuff like that. But really, more or less, this is just a storage closet. Got a vacuum, got our brooms, brushes, all that stuff. A couple cases of pomade down here um, in case we have to hand deliver to any local shops. So right outside the storage closet is the first wall we built. And every wall that we have, we try to decorate with different stuff. These are all our grandfather's old plates we found in his garage. I really like this mirror. It's got the old traditional porthole mirror. We just picked up this sign, s and green stamps. So we're going to put this at the shipping station when we move into the new compound. This is another one of my favorite pieces. We didn't get the mount her yet. Once we get into the new compound, put this up somewhere awesome. This is one of my favorite signs I have. I haven't been able to put it up yet because I don't have the space for it. When we build out the new compound and we have a little kitchenette, I'm gonna put it up there because it's from an old uh, butcher shop. It says Dickinson's Meat. It's from like 1800s, all hand painted wooden sign. So whenever we have an event, we usually, if we have a bartender or if we're just using it to put out food or serve drinks, this thing's really sturdy. We made this thing rated for about 450 pounds of strippers. Stand up up here. It's a little taller than your traditional bar top. That's why we have no stools for it. There's really about functionality. Behind it, we have our microwave and our stove top and all that type of stuff. We have a bartender or we lay our food out and drinks out up here. But yeah, it's pretty much just a flat surface that we could use whenever we have an event. So back here, we got a bingo tumbler up here. So whenever we go live, like on Black Friday, this is where we put everybody's names in the bingo tumbler and stuff like that. Some wall art that I got from TJ. Everybody's always dropping stuff off to give us. They know that I'm a hoarder and I collect all sorts of weird stuff. So if someone has something weird, they're always bringing it to me. Like check out this cool old butcher knife. I love cleavers. If you guys got any links on some cool cleavers, I want to start collecting these guys. Right here, that's a, a trunk from old Volkswagen, a Chevy truck. This is the Model A grill. This is our chalkboard that we made back here. So when we do events, we put our education schedule up there and we hang it up in our booth. And again, this place is all just stuff just scattered. There's no theme in certain areas. We came into this place as an empty warehouse. We just put something where something fits. So right now, everything's just scattered. When we move into a new spot, it'll be more like, everything will have its theme. Right now, it's all jammed all up. We just wanted to give you guys a chance to kind of get a look at it before we break this whole place down. So this right here, this is like my baby, this pinball machine. Uh, my buddy Pete actually gave this to me. I had to make a couple little adjustments and work on it a little bit, but it's running good. You got a little high score on there. She's a, she's a good runner. They could only get the license for the voice of Toodles, who was like the old man, he wasn't very famous, but they couldn't get the license to use uh, Robin Williams' voice or Dustin Hoffman's voice, so Toodles' voices on the machine are like his real voice from the movie, the That's real awesome. clips from the movie, and then everything else with Captain Hook is all like a bad impression, you know what I mean? When we move into the new place, we're gonna build a, like kind of a live game show area, so the old wheel was made out of like an old kitchen table, we glued some pieces of whiteboard onto it, you know, it was just like temporary, but it was mounted here, and we would use it for like giveaways, and then I started looking at old 1930s 40s like carnival prize wheels and stuff and this is pretty much a replica of one that I found that I really like it's made out of a three-quarter inch plywood birch plywood these are all just little brass rods eighth inch brass rod and then it's all hand painted yeah. Winner, winner. So yeah, we use this for like live Instagram giveaways. And when we have the new place, we're gonna build some more like Coney Island-esque kind of uh, carnival games. We're gonna do some live game show stuff. You know, up here you'll see we got some hand-painted signs we did for our Halloween sideshow thing. Got these old knockdown punks. A lot of like weird old Coney Island type stuff. But yeah, this is like my favorite thing I ever made. It's not perfect, but you know, I tried to get the crackle paint right. Really give it that older look. 
Hi guys, welcome to the Holy Black Barbershop. So when we first moved in, it's one of the first things that we built. It's a 10 by 10 square and we built out this corner to be a barbershop. We used the corner so we're able to shoot it and have two walls of a barbershop. So if you shoot from a certain perspective, probably where you're at right now, you could almost be inside of a barbershop when really it's just a 10 by 10 square. And we use this probably more than anything besides our office and the lab. We constantly have barbers coming in here. We do education out of here. It's not a open to the public barbershop. Every once in a while we'll have one of our brand ambassadors come down and they'll schedule out the day and they'll cut hair here. Or we use for media if you want to do product knowledge you've seen a lot of things shot from this angle inside this barbershop i got a lot of stuff it's where i store most of my gas and oil antiques this is a small portion of them but um i've been collecting them over the past couple of years and i've established a lot i also use these a lot for props when we do events and conventions and stuff our booth always has like an automotive kind of feel to it oil one of my favorite companies i just love this guy i think it's a really cool brand i love this good year tube repair kit scuff up the tire this is the first hand painted banner that we did we hand painted this whole thing, we aged it, dropped uh, chains on it, then we soaked them in bleach. We made a tea mixture and we dumped tea in it as we had it sitting for like five days. This is also a really cool piece, an old straight razor holder. If you look in there, it says the Everlasting Barber Box. If you look back over there, Brooklyn, New York. There's our little barber station here, some of our old apothecary bottles. Once we move into the new place, these will probably migrate into the lab. Got this holy water bottle, I think is really cool. Probably the coolest part of the barbershop is this guy right here. This is a 1911 Koken barber chair. There was a guy that does like junk removal from houses and businesses and he messaged me on Instagram and he said I have an old barber chair if you guys be interested and it actually came from a barber shop in Glen Cove. This was the last barber chair that was there and uh, he was holding on to it for a long time and he messaged me and he's like hey you guys interested in an old chair? And this thing is like everything I'd ever want in a barber chair. From a Long Island barber shop, hundreds and hundreds of Long Islanders have gotten a haircut in this chair. You could see in the wooden handles how worn down. You guys just think about how many people have sat in this chair and how many heads have been cut in this chair. People coming up to this barber shop on horse and buggy getting in this chair and getting the haircut. So there's just a lot of history here and there's just something about it. The patina on it, the color of it, I wouldn't change one thing about it. I absolutely love this chair. <laughs> So this is where we spend like 90% of our time when we're not shooting vlog videos. This is our think tank. This is where we hash out all our ideas for new projects. This was like the most important thing when we built the office was we have to have a chalkboard or a blackboard of some sort. We got a little competition going on right now. Me and Maddie, we're working on, you know, being more efficient, more productive. We're working on our YouTube right now is like our number one metric that we're working on. So we've been tracking our YouTube subs on here. And then when it's all up there, we'll snap a picture of it, put it into Evernote and haul onto it. Uh, we just moved Box Visuals in here, and that's his temporary desk until we get the new place and we can get him his own office. This desk, Maddie built this desk out of two sheets of plywood that this desk is made out of. I had one piece of two inch by two inch left over. Left over. When we have meetings where people come here, we can sit this way, and we have a workspace I can lay out whatever I'm working on here, and I have a full size desk. When we're working on computers, we have all our screens with all our metrics, and you know, we even have like a little sideboard where we can keep some stuff, books, and whatnot, and then we have some storage underneath on both sides. And we're just trying to go for like a little Victorian vibe in here. This is Big Al right here. That's the most important thing in here. He is the original barber from our family. He's the one that we inherited straight razors and aftershaves and got us into being in love with the whole culture and craft of, of being a barber. You know, he was my father's father and then my, our father was a barber and uh, his whole side of the family is just a whole line of barbers. <laughs> This is the laboratory. Right now we are getting ready for the Black Magic release. So I got a lot of bulk ingredients in here. For the most part, this is mostly for experimentation, this place. And we use it for the most part just for creating new fragrances. And I got the 3D printer here. You know, this is really for uh, doing experimental stuff. But when we do the limited editions, this is where I make the soap for it. This is where we make all the aftershaves and do all the bottle filling and that type of thing. The wax dipping all gets done in here. About a week or two, we're going to have a bunch of people in here helping us out. And we'll have this whole place set up like a uh, assembly line. Every time I order fragrances from different companies, I order small samples. So I have like samples of every type of fragrance I like. For Black Magic, I bought Tobacco Absolutes. I bought Tobacco uh, Absolute in a specific, they put in like 5% because that stuff's so strong. Like I bought Espresso Absolute, I bought Cacao Absolute. You know, I bought a bunch of different stuff because I want to get the best, especially for the limited editions. I want them to be, even if they're expensive, I want them to smell like incredible. <laughs> All right, over here, this is pretty much just our chill section, living room, whatever you want to call it. You guys probably remember this from this is where we do all our intros in the beginning of each of our vlogs. That's pretty much it. The coolest thing about this section is the way we watch media. We have a little 110 inch screen that we have dropped down from the ceiling. 
And then this section over here, temporarily, is just where we keep all our toys, our go-karts, mini bikes, bicycles, pit bikes. These things are all interchangeable too. You know, we buy some cool things, rip around them. We have a cool neighborhood here, we can do whatever we want. Rip stuff around the neighborhood, buy stuff, sell stuff, and uh, we always have something gas powered here that we could just, in the middle of the day, let go of some steam and just rip around the neighborhood. So if you guys are coming to our Halloween party, make sure you guys got a pit bike, a mini bike, a go-kart, something you guys could race. Uh, we rented out a motocross track in Ronkonkoma. Have fun ripping around that whole spot all day long. And this little section here is pretty much black magic. We're in the middle of a huge release that we're doing right now. So we have the bottles, the boxes, all the things that go along with it. So this section here is pretty much the workshop. Whenever we have anything to build or do, this is where we keep all of our tools. If, whether it be something to build in-house or for building displays for barbershops, we got pretty much everything you need here to build whatever. Right now, it's kind of mixed matching all over the place. We use this stuff on the daily, so we usually like to throw the garage door open. I like to lay out there in the sun to kind of just hang out. All right, so we finished the loop at the shipping station. Again, we don't do much shipping out of here anymore, but if we need to do any shipping or getting stuff out into the mail, this is where we do it from. Originally, we shipped all of our package from right here. Kind of set this place up to have everything at arm's reach. Keep our boxes under the table, our computer and our scale. We get a pick list. I'd pull everything from the storage closet, put all the products here, pull the orders up, pack them all out, weigh them, tape them up, put labels on them, throw them in a bin. We set up next to the garage door so we can load it right into the back of the truck and roll out. One of the first things we did when we moved in is I rented a commercial spray gun and I sprayed this entire place black, the walls, the ceiling, the floor, and then we ran about 5,000 LED lights between the trusses and the ceiling. So when you turn the lights off like this, ceiling lights we installed, and they kind of have a little star effect. So if we're partying here, we got music going on for the DJ lights. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's vlog of our tour of the compound. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.